Good afternoon students, today 16th of June 2019 we are going to deal with electro conductivity. This deals with conductivity and the application is of conductivity measurements of electrolytes. An electrolyte is an ionic substance that conducts electricity in a molten and solution form. Electrolytes conduct electricity by migration of ions in the liquid or solution form. The resistance R is the drag force experienced by ions while moving to respective electrodes under the influence of electric charges. So the, the force experienced by ion is while moving to respective electrodes is called resistance R. Then the resistance R experienced by an ion is the proportion of the distance L between electrodes or conductors and inverse the proportion to cross-section area of electrodes. For ease of calculation, we shall consider the cross-section area of each electrode to be equal. Then you can now say that R, resistance R, is the proportion to L, the distance between the electrodes, and the inverse the proportion to cross-section area of the electrodes. To remove proportionality sign, we put a proportionality constant. So R is equal to rho L over A. The proportionality constant chosen was rho. A Greek letter, rho. So R is equal to rho L over A. Rho is called resistivity of the solution. By definition, definition, we can say that resistivity is the resistance, resistance of an electrolytic solution. Placed between electrodes each one centimeter squared in area and one centimeter apart. So we are seeing that when A is 1 and A is 1, then the rho is equal to R. So we can now define resistivity as the resistance of an electrolytic solution placed between electrodes, each 1 cm squared in area, and 1 cm apart, or 1 m squared in area, and 1 m Apart in the chemistry, the reciprocal terms are preferred, i.e., one over resistance is conductance is equal to one over rho L over A is equal to one over rho times A over A. One over rho is given another another symbol K and K is equal to conductivity. Conductivity. Making k the subject to be equal to 1 over r l over a. l over a is now called a zero constant because it does not change within a given 
cell. So you can define now conductivity, conductivity K, conductivity K is, is the reciprocal, is the reciprocal, reciprocal of resistivity or is the reciprocal of resistance of the solution placed placed between electrodes each one centimeter squared in area and one centimeter apart. So we are saying that when A is one and A is one then we can say that K is equal to 1 over R. So by definition, the reciprocal of resistance of a solution placed between electrodes, each 1 centimeter squared in area and 1 centimeter apart, or the reciprocal of resistivity of a solution. Units of K is the per ohm, this centimeter over centimeter squared per ohm per centimeter. Molar conductivity, capital lambda C, is the conductivity of a solution that contains one mole of an electrolyte, of an electrolyte. Therefore, Lambda C, molar conductivity, is equal to K over C, where K is electrolytic conductivity, and C are models of electrolyte in the solution between electrodes. Example, the resistance of 0 0.1 molar potassium chloride between electrodes each one centimeter squared in area and 0 0.5 centimeter apart is 400 ohms. Calculate the molar conductivity. We said that the molar conductivity is equal to conductivity over concentration C. Conductivity is equal to 1 over resistance times L over A, so it will be equal to 1 over 400 times 0 0.5 over 1, which is equal to 0 0.0125 per ohm per centimeter. The volume of a solution between electrodes is equal to area times the distance apart, which is 1 times 0 0.5, which is 0 0.5 centimeters cubed. Then we calculate the mole of C between electrodes. We saw that molarity means that 1000 centimeter cubed contains 0 0.1 mole. Therefore, 0 0.5 centimeter cubed will contain 0 0.1 times 0 0.5 centimeter cubed over 1000, which is equal to 5 times 10 to the power negative 5 moles. Then molar conductivity is equal to K over C which is equal to 0 0.00125 over 5 times 10 to the power negative 5, which is equal to 25 per ohm centimeter squared per mole. The Science Foundation College in Namavu kwe jinja Ngo ingira kilomite mm. Somero lia dene boarding Eliaba wala naba lenzi Ku olevo tusomisa arts ni sciences Ate erevo Somisa sciences zoka Omwana mwretu ku the Science Foundation College Fetu singo kusomisa sciences Okumanya bisinga o Kwa kuzira musambu tano satu Chinana Abiri musambu Zero muenda The Science Foundation College Best on sciences And best for sciences 
Variation of molar conductivity with concentration. Would have expected that every time we calculate molar conductivity, which is equal to K over C, to give you the same value, whatever the concentration of the iron is. Ah. However, this is not so. Molar conductivity decreases with concentration for both strong and weak electrolyte as shown below. When we put a graph of molar conductivity again is due to concentration. For strong electrolyte, we get a straight line. When we extrapolate this line to zero, we get molar conductivity at infinity dilution. Then for weak electrolyte, we get a curve. Or when you plot a graph of conductivity against dilution, dilution is one over C. Then we see that for strong electrolyte, it will give you this type of shape of a curve, and weak electrolyte will give you this shape of a curve. Then what is the explanation? The explanation is that for strong electrolyte, molar conductivity decreases as the concentration increases. So as the concentration increases, molar conductivity decreases. Because at high concentration, opposite ions are close together. So the positive and the negative ion are so close together and experience strong interaction. So there will be strong attraction between the negative and the positive ions. This reduce the speed of ionic mobility to the respective pole and thus reduce the molar conductivity. On dilution, the ion is will be spaced. That is the experience less interaction between each other and therefore the molar conductivity will increase. We can write molar conductivity decrease as the concentration increases because as the concentration increases, percentage ionization decreases, reducing the number of conducting ions per mole of an electrolyte. So, since ionization is not linear, that's why we get a curve. Percentage ionization increases with dilution, but not linear. That's why we get a curve. So at high concentration, percentage ionization is low. So the number of conducting ions per mole of an electrolyte is low. Therefore, molar conductivity is low. As dilution occurs, percentage ionization increases. The number of conducting ions per mole increases, and therefore conductivity increases. Molar conductivity and infinity dilution, lambda, not. This is the molar conductivity of an electrolyte. When the solution is very dilute, that its ions experience no interaction from each other. For strong electrolyte, molar conductivity at infinity dilution is obtained by extrapolating a graph of molar conductivity against root C. So for strong electrolyte, this is root C. This is molar conductivity. We get a straight line. When we extrapolate this one to zero, we get molar conductivity at infinity dilution. For strong electrolyte, when you put a graph of molar conductivity against root to C, we get a straight line. When we extrapolate this one to zero, then we get molar conductivity at infinity. Dilution, lambda, naught. The molar conductivity at infinity dilution of weak electrolyte is obtained by application of Kolarash's law of independent migration of ions, which states that the molar conductivity at infinity dilution of an electrolyte is the sum of molar conductivities at infinity dilution is 
of its constituent ions at infinity dilution. For example, molar conductivity at infinity dilution of sodium chloride is equal to molar conductivity at infinity dilution of sodium ions plus molar conductivity at infinity dilution of chloride ions. Molar conductivity at infinity dilution of calcium ions is equal to molar conductivity at infinity dilution of calcium 2 plus plus 2 times molar conductivity at infinity dilution of chloride ions. Or molar conductivity at infinity dilution of AB is equal to molar conductivity at infinity dilution of AC plus molar conductivity at infinity dilution of B B minus molar conductivity at infinity dilution of C B or molar conductivity of at infinity dilution of ethanoic acid will be equal to molar conductivity at infinity dilution of sodium ethanoate plus molar conductivity at infinity dilution of HCl minus molar conductivity at infinity dilution of sodium chloride. So this one will bring this one, then this one will bring this one, then we shall subtract this one from, from the solution. Example, molar conductivities of nitric acid, potassium nitrate, and potassium Fluoride are 421, 145, 129 per mole percent of the tube at infinity dilution. Calculate the molar conductivity at infinity dilution of hydrofluoric acid. So we can see that molar conductivity at infinity dilution of, of HF is equal to molar conductivity at infinity dilution of H and O3 plus molar conductivity at infinity dilution of potassium fluoride minus molar conductivity at infinity dilution of potassium nitrate. This is the same as 421 plus 129 minus 145 which is equal to 4 405 per ohm centimeter squared per mole factors affecting conductivity of an iron at infinity dilution, one charge on iron. The bigger the charge, the higher the conductivity due to carriage of a bigger charge. So you are carrying many charges at a time when you have bigger charges on the iron than when you are carrying one charge at iron. The higher the temperature, the higher the conductivity because iron is of both high kinetic energy. The size of the iron. Small iron is have high speed of movement leading to high conductivity than bigger iron is. However, small iron is have got a big charge density that they attract a big crowd of water of hydration, making the effective size bigger and this reduces their mobility 
and conductivity. Because more iron is have got a bit high charge density, they attract a bigger water of hydration. This makes the effective size bigger and therefore their mobility reduces and conductivity. This explains why the molar conductivity at infinity dilution of sodium iron is, is higher than the molar conductivity of lithium iron is. Molar conductivity at infinity dilution of potassium iron is, is higher than the molar conductivity at infinity dilution of lithium iron is because lithium iron is are small, would you expect them to conduct faster than sodium iron is? However, because of their big charge density, they attract a big crowd of water, of hydration. This makes the size, the effective size of lithium iron is bigger than the effective size of sodium iron is. This reduces the speed of migration of lithium ion is, which makes it lower than that one of sodium ion is. Examples of conductivities at infinity dilution of common ion is are given below. Sodium 50, OH 198, HCl 349.8, chlorine 76.4. You don't need to cram these figures, but hydrogen ion, which is a small ion, conducts faster than sodium ion is, which are big ion is. So the size of the ion is determine the conductivity of an ion. Example, anic radii and molar conductivities at infinity dilution at 18 degrees of lithium and cesium ions are given below. So, the molar conductivity at emitting direction of lithium is lower than that one of cesium. Explain why the molar conductivity of lithium ions is lower than that one of cesium ion. This is because lithium has got a small ionic radii than that one of cesium and it has a bigger charge density when you divide 1 over 0 0.06 it's bigger than 1 over 0 0.17 lithium ion lithium ion attracts a big crowd of water vibration making its effective size bigger than that one of cesium ion thus the mobility of lithium ion is are reduced below that of cesium ion, leading to a lower conductivity. Condometric titration. These are titrations in which iron is in the solution are replaced by other iron is of different conductivities. The titration is followed by condometric measurements. Okay, titration of a strong acid with a strong base. For example, HCl with sodium hydroxide. In this case, hydrochloric acid is in a conical flask. Sodium hydroxide is in a bulate. So we keep on adding sodium hydroxide to the conical flask in the portion is and measuring the conductivity. Then we shall get a shape like this. At A, conductivity is high due to presence of highly conducting hydrogen ions from anization of hydrochloric acid. HCl will give you hydrogen and chlorine ion. Along AB, conductivity decreases due to removal of hydrogen ions and replacing them with less conducting sodium ions. So hydrogen ions plus OH, you get water. Along BC, conductivity increases due to excess hydroxide ions, which have got reasonably high conductivity. B, titration of weak acid with stronger base. For example, it's an oic acid and sodium hydroxide. We get the shape of the graph similar to this one. 
and the explanation is initially conductivity is low due to presence of few hydrogen ions from partial ionization of the acid. Along with AB, conductivity increases due to addition of salt ions and further ionization of the acid due to with the dilution. So when you react the acid with the base, you get salt ions. Along with BC, conductivity increases due to excess hydroxyl ions, which have got reasonable conductivity. Tartration of weak acid with the weak base, we get a graph like this. At A, conductivity is slightly high due to presence of allergen ions. Along with AB, conductivity decreases due to removal of hydrogen ions. BC, conductivity increases due to addition of salt ions. Then CD, conductivity remains constant because equilibrium has been attained. Mm-hmm. 